Hello, this video is what I think about autism. Um, I became interested in autism recently because I was watch. I, I rented a movie back when my computer still worked um, at the library, um, My Life in Ruins. It's a pretty funny comedy. But, um, bef but, but like I was seeing the previews of it and it was of some kid who was like in New York and he's like talking to like his friend and about the stars and the guy's like, I don't want to talk about that. Talk about guy stuff. So he's like, well, a girl moved in. So then it goes into the scene about the girl. It's like a love story. And, and then he's hanging out with the girl and, um, and he goes, Ooh, you're just hot. Oh man. I just want to grab you or something like that. And she goes, she goes, okay, that's enough of that. I'm out of here. And he's like, oh no, but wait, I have Asperger's. So I was like, Asperger's, what's that? Like they actually have like a name for somebody who speaks their mind. <laughs> um, so I became interested and I was like, all right. And I, I Googled Asperger's and Asperger's, and I guess Asperger's isn't even uh, the term, the term doesn't even exist anymore. That's what my friend told me the other day. Um, that it, that it's just autistic. It's autism. It's like on the autistic spectrum. So it's kind of like in the outer edges of autism before you get into the really extreme autism where you can't even communicate at all. And you're just basically retarded and you don't even have any, any skills. And then you have like, you get a little bit farther in and then like, you can't really communicate at all, but, but you're a fucking genius in one thing. Kind of like the movie Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman, where he he was just mentioned the same thing. I, I, I must 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 have the hour. Must, must, must have the hour. He couldn't communicate at all. But then if somebody would like throw a packet of 150 matches on the floor, he would go, "Oh, 152 matches." So then, like Tom Cruise used him as like to count cards to make money at the um, gambling in uh, in Las Vegas, and like they made a bunch of money that way. And because he was just like really smart, even though he was retarded. And um, yeah, so, um, but then you have like the people with Asperger's who are like the people who are like, um, who are, who are still like autistic, but they can still, they still like normal. They're just weird. Um, and um, yeah, I took a really uh, like an interest in that. Um, who knows? Maybe even I'm part autistic you know, in the very, very, very outer edges of the spectrum, you know. Um, I think, like, they said, like, one in a hundred people, like, was officially Asperger. And, like, what they are is they're people who are, like, extremely interested. And I, like, watch videos of people, the Asperger people, and I did empathize with those people because I, and I respect them because they're people who are, like, really interested in something. And they have an extremely strong desire to explain to you what they're interested in. And, and, and so they would have like these, and like, I guess they weird people out because they just like talk about something and they're just like, yeah, yeah. And then this, and then the people are like, okay. And they're like, yeah, yeah. And they keep going, you know, and I'm kind of like that sometimes. Like I, I'll explain something to somebody sometimes because I don't really hang out with people that much. So when I do and I'm explaining something, sometimes I get carried away and they're like, okay, okay, okay. And I don't like. And I guess maybe I realize that they're kind of, I've overheated their brain and they want me to change the subject, but I just, I'm not done with the, the, like the chapter I'm in, in my head. And so that they finally have to be like, okay, that's it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's enough for now. <laughs> but, um, but I respect that man. And it's cool that they'd have their little groups where they get together and they talk to each other about what they know. I mean, my God, if you were to imagine if there was a whole world full of people who was always talking to each other about what they knew about stuff, like with such like, uh, um, relentlessness, the, people would be smart. People would be really smart. People would know a lot about stuff and they would, um, and you know, and then we would be able to, uh, um, you know, have a, very smooth running society because of all the smart people. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it was, um, it was just interesting listening to people talk being, I guess they're people who are really interested in stuff. And I saw this one, but, but I mean, some of them are kind of crazy. Like I saw this one thing on this kid who was like, had 154 IQ, 10 less than uh, Einstein. And he, uh, and he, he was really interested in like brain chemistry, but he didn't understand like why people were like, 
excited about a football game when his friend took him there and he didn't understand why there was why they had like ice in the supermarket why do they have it here you could just make it in your house and his mom was like well yeah sometimes people need more than they have you know they need to they're making up having a party so anyways um but i guess some like they have like spe specific traits with the asperger people is that they don't like they have like tactile issues like they're afraid of like they like some like they can't get their hands dirty or they can't feel vibration on their hands or like they can't feel dirtiness. And I'm not, I'm not saying I have Asperger's, but I'm, I have like really like, I can definitely relate to that. I can't have like, I can't sleep dirty. I never could sleep dirty. I'm having to teach myself to sleep dirty now, but I can't sleep with my arms next to each other and my legs touching because I can't have that feeling of like sweat coming in between. But, um, but they're also really clumsy, I guess they drop and stuff all the time. You know, and I'm not saying I have Asperger's or anything, but I have been accused of being clumsy more than once, and I do drop stuff all the time. Yeah, and I could never play, like, football in school because I'd always draw. I couldn't catch the ball. It would bounce out of my hands and stuff, so. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe I do. But anyways, um, <clears throat> it's. I guess it's something that a lot of people are like, me, I have Asperger's, I have Asperger's because the Asperger people are supposed to be smart and stuff and have, like, photographic memories. But, um, they also, like, um, they also, um, yeah, they can't take social cues. Like, that's the problem with Asperger people. They can't take social, they don't understand social, um, social, uh, sign language, you know. Um, like, they, there are these normal girls who went out with the Asperger kid, that smart kid who is into brain chemistry and they're like, yeah, so what do you, what do you read? Tell us what about that, 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 uh, particular, um, couple over there and tell us the background of them. And he was like, well, that particular couple, they're not talking, so they must be fighting and they're not really close. And then the girls were like, no, they look really close. They're just comfortable with each other and they like being around each other. And then he went back to his, like, his, like, uh, reading social uh, science book. And, and, and it turned out that those girls were right. And he's like, oh man, they read the book. <laughs> But, um, oh man, but then again, I do kind of relate to that. I remember when I was a kid, I'd like look at people and who weren't talking, I'd be like embarrassed for them. Like, oh my God, like they're not talking to each other. What's wrong? Did they get in a fight? You know, anyways, may maybe I am a little bit on the outer edges of that, but, um, but I guess, yeah, they, they, <clears throat> and they don't like, they empathize with like inanimate objects more than like real people. Like they don't think people have emotions. They're just like logical. Like they're Spock. I guess Spock had Asperger's it was autistic, but, um, but anyways, it kind of, um, as far as talking about what I think about autism, I have had like experience with one autistic kid. I was a mountain guide back and I did two 16 day mountain treks in the San Juan mountains in 92. And then we had this one, it was mainly like city kids, but we had this one kid with autism and he, he didn't have any, we didn't detect any skills that he had, but he couldn't communicate. And like once he took a dump outside of the tent and he couldn't admit that it was him. And, um, there was an electrical storm. We had to turn around on this 14,000 foot mountain, Mount Wetterhorn. And he like, he like freaked out. He was like, yay. It like turned him on. And all of a sudden he's running and jumping and like screaming. And it was like, it was kind of interesting, but, um, but anyways, I, I think I read like in a, or I heard like an alien channel or somebody saying, like explaining what autism is, because apparently there is this big autistic uh, epidemic in the world these days where there's a bunch of these kids who are autistic, who don't communicate with other kids and they only play with themselves. And it takes them like, they're like three years old before they start talking. Um, and it like worries people and it makes people feel their parents worried. And, and then they start coming up with theories like toxins in the water and carcinogens in the air and oh my god epidemic what's going on and um but i read and I, or i heard like a channel or aliens so i'm saying that people with autism are actually aliens in human bodies and that kind of explains it because if you're an alien and you're used to another body you uh and you're in a human body you're going to be clumsy because you're not used to the human body and and if and if you're not used to all of the sign languages that that we've been doing and been ingraining in our DNA for hundreds of thousands of years, um, you're going to have different sign languages and you're going to have to learn that. It's kind of like a science fiction movie. Like, 
you could make a science fiction movie and have the subjects of the science fiction movie of the aliens living in the human bodies as being autistic, acting exactly like autistic people, you know, like, <laughs> hello, I'm here to tell you about the stars in Vega, you know, and then, and then the star is this big and <coughs> free energy is, is, is going to be, uh, you know, and all this stuff. And people are just like, what dude? <laughs> And he's like, what do you mean? What, what does that mean? You like when they make movies about aliens, like the guy's like, what, what does he mean by that? You know, and It kind of makes sense. And you know, maybe that person is just being creative, but with the 6 billion people in the world today, with all the new people, like where are all the souls coming from? Well, don't ask, like, don't, don't try to say something's wrong. There's all these weird people in the world who are really interested in stuff and want to explain what they know. They're just aliens coming here living here on earth and, uh, doing it the way that they're, they've done it. And, uh, so yeah, basically the moral of the story is don't, don't look at autism as being something that, um, is bad. Don't look at the autistic epidemic or even the, uh, the down syndrome people as being anything unnatural. It's all part of the natural God's natural plan for the universe is, is that you get different people and I think they even have autistic people or Asperger people there. Well, I guess Asperger doesn't even exist anymore. So autistic spectrum people, um, um, actually have like different brain chemistries. Um, their brains are using, are being used in different places and, you know, and it's, and I guess if you're, if you're de genetically designed to only be able to use 10% of your brain, if you're going to use extra of your brain to become really good at memorizing stuff or you know, knowing a subject, then you're going to have to sacrifice some other parts of your brain in order to keep that horsepower up. And, um, and the other parts that they sacrifice are the, are the kind of illogical, um, social, um, cues and sign languages and like stuff that really doesn't make any sense. Like if you, if, if you, if you think something about something or don't think some, or like are annoyed by something, you should say it. You shouldn't like blinking your eyes three times. Shouldn't, code talk should not be the way to communicate with each other. It should be straight up saying it. That's how different cultures around the world respect each other and communicate with each other. It's not with the code talk. It's with actual saying stuff. And, um, yeah, I mean, I can actually relate. I mean, I have respect for them. Um, and if I was to ever be like in contact with an Asperger person who would ask something really stupid, like, why are they cheering for that team? I would be like, why do you think they're cheering for that team? You know, and they'd probably have the op the, they'd probably be able to, to give you the answer because it's their team and they want them to win. Yeah, there you go. You know, instead of tell them, instead of just tell them, oh, it's because, well, I guess I would for a little bit, but I also do the Socratic questioning with them. But, um, but, um, but I think that would explain it, that they're just, uh, that, you know, everything happens for a reason and don't, don't be worried about your kid being antisocial. Just, just, just find out what they're interested in and, and fuel that interest and, and, um, give them the idea to get a job in that in in industry that they're interested in and they can become, they could make money and, um, you know, make sure that they hook up with somebody else who's like them and uh, everything's good you know it's nothing to be freaked out about you don't want to be freaked out about eccentricism you want to you want to cherish diversity that's what makes that's what made america so successful that's why everything that's ever invented is invented in america because because there's all these different kinds of people who get all these different kinds of things and they're able to just run wild <coughs> and do that which they are good at and what's they're interested in and um the great melting pot and uh so cherish, cherish diversity and, uh, there's nothing wrong. And I know some people are like, oh, but don't, because it's so difficult. Well, out of all the Asperger people who I saw in the video complaining about how they had a difficult time in society, not one of them gave an actual, or none of the girls anyways, who were the ones who, who were do all the complaining and crying, um, gave an actual, um, example of when they got in trouble for not taking a social cue or not or not, or feeling like they had to act all the time, you know? Um, I would, I want to hear that. I want to hear, I want to hear those specific stories. You know, if you have Asperger, you should be smart enough to remember those examples. Um, 
But anyways, I'm not saying I have Asperger's, but I do, I can relate to having to act all the time. Like if somebody makes a comment and they're nice, like on my YouTube, I have to like be nice back. Or if somebody likes me, I have to like be really nice to them because I don't want to disappoint them. But anyways, that's that. Out of time.